Are you ready to fly a broom for the first fucking time? I am. I am. We have been waiting so long for this. We talked about it in the last stream. I love how long they decided to hold off on giving us this. I like that they kind of, you know, kept us pushing through to the game, knowing that it was there on the horizon. And now it's time. Yo, Leroy Cooper, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Pioneers. Let's fly. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Yes. Oh my god. We're here. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. <laughs> Not a now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, <laughs> your turn. Let's go! Up. up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up. First try. First try. Up! Come on. We're destined for greatness. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Come on, bro. Get on. Let's go. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Yes, ma'am. Just let me fly. <gasps> Good. Now, oh. for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do Ooh, take care. Own. The brooms are school property. <laughs> I want this them to turn in one piece. Pretty smooth. This feels pretty awesome. That's what she said. Wow. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yes, we shall. Whoa. This next set of okay, hold R2 for flight speed, toggle. For more of a challenge. What a view! Okay, so <laughs> this I would hold it. Hello! Okay, so I can toggle it, or I can press RT and just do it myself manually. And then descend is, yeah, that I know. I wonder if there's any uh, way that you can... Not that I'm complaining, but eventually go faster. Like this is not bad, but I like to be fucking flying. This is awesome, though. This is awesome. The music, too. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> this is rather fun. This is beautiful. Whoa, look at this area. So well much to done. explore. Have a moment. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Of course I but am. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, I remember you. Care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? 
I will, but you're a little weird. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely Guys, now. This looks right awesome. Now, over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Where did you go, mate? Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oh, you're above me. There we go. Can I fly through the school? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Can I go through this? <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh, but I kind of can. Okay, okay, it's gonna take some learning. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Ooh, wee. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's That's what I'm wondering. Though. I want Move the super boost. For a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. How do I lean forward? L2 speed burst. Oh my god, it's like they uh -huh. heard me. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippo, Griff? Oh, sweet. There's the famous bridge. Guys, it's they heard me. The magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the it's hard to tell how fast we're going because we're out in the open, but... Isn't it? Flying tips and this music is epic. And this is quite the tour, Everett. Oh, hold on. I want to look at the Quidditch. No, game. Let me know. No. That was close. We'll have to explore later. This concludes our tour. Thank you very much for the tour. Okay, after we're done with uh, flight school, we are going to explore on our own for sure. Wow, that was amazing. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. I don't like this kid. I mean, I'm glad that he As for you, took us on a little trip. You but do you well know. to use better judgment in the future. My apologies. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Every time we've broken the rules in this game, the professors have been so nice to just be like, it's fine. You're a great kid. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Um... I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. How do Perhaps I get my own? to purchase a broom then? If you can, you should. Wish I could. How I recommend much are visiting they? Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Okay, now we have our plan for the stream. We are going to get a broom. If we cannot afford a broom, I will fucking loot every chest that exists in this game in order to get the broom by the end of this video, okay? That is the first thing that we're doing. I don't care about side missions. I don't care about spells. I don't care about the story. I want to fucking fly. So that's what we're going to do. Yo, Alpha Returns 2613. It is a pleasure to see you in the chat. Thank you very much for stopping by and saying hello. What's up? How's it going, guys? Hello, Paralyzer. Welcome to the stream, puppy. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. The weekend is almost here. Are you excited? What, do you have any plans? Me? What do I have? Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Making more content. Um, UFC. Saturday night. Volkanovski versus... Uh, Islam, that is going to be an amazing fight if you're into UFC. And then Sunday, Last of Us. Oh, no, Last of Us is dropping tomorrow. Facts. Oh, that's going to be sweet. Early start to the weekend. Okay, let's get to world map. Where's Hogs meeting in? Oh, right, 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 right. Got it, got it, got it. 
Okay, so where's the store, though? Probably has a broom on it, no? Here? Brood and Peck? No. The old Fool. Magic Neep. Hog's Head. Tons and Scrolls. Sporting. Oh, wait, what does it say? A sporting goods shop that sells a variety of brooms. That's the one. Oh, man. Finally. Finally. Indeed, here I come. Let's hope this isn't about 5,000. Uh, what's the currency again? Blunt Poppy Supreme, if you're in the chat. What's the currency again? Gridians? Go, go, go something? Something with a G. Okay. Does anyone know? There's Ollivanders. I thought I set a quest to it. What the hell? Didn't I mark it? Well, I'm literally on top of it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's gritties. That's what it is. It's gritties. <laughs> ah, new face. Definitely gritties. Albie Hello. Weeks. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome Albie to Weeks. Witches. Bars? Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. <laughs> Paralyzer. If you want a broom, you have to gritty 300 times. That's, that's what I have to pay. Imagine, imagine they had emojis in this game where you could like, or emotes, I should say. Where they could dance and like, do backflips and stuff, that'd be hilarious. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's up, Ledge? Welcome what to the stream, baby. Today? Hope you're having a wonderful day at work. Okay, 600. Remember, we're rich right now. Beautiful. Okay, I want the most expensive and the fastest. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. A stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. Finally crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts. House pride. That item is of the highest quality. Oh, because it's blue. Lime. The perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Ooh, that's nice. So this is the best one. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. That item is of the highest quality. Ooh. So as far as ability goes, this one seems to be the best one. Because it's the only one that says something about its attribute in the description. But if we're being honest, that the Ember Dash the broom quality. looks way nicer. And I'm assuming there's probably an effect when you're flying. Like, the back of it is on fire, right? And I can't, like, make returns. Alright, what do we think, Pioneers? Ember Dash or You Weaver? It's a tough one. That item is of the highest quality. Hmm... Speed or flare? Can I see stats? No. It doesn't show anything other than what's in its that description. Item is of the highest quality. You know what? I, I like that this is speedy, but this design's kind of like meh. I'm gonna get this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks, mate. Preach. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew Talk. I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy um, with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. This is how we get but our attributes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. 
What Talk I to need me. is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you mm. were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Hmm. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Beautiful. Once Wonderful. Once you Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay, so we have a trial to do. The Merlin Trial Challenge. And remember, this will increase our gear. This is what we were hoping for in last episode ah, when we figured out we had too many things into our, in our inventory slot, which I actually have to get rid of because there's a chest here. Let's see if there's anything I can get rid of. Hey, uh, Lisa Francis, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Pioneers. It's a pleasure having you. I hope that you're watching the stream. And uh, we'll say hello. Let's see. Um, what do I need to get rid of? get rid of one of these headwares um this one's better let's see if there's any other options or i think get it rid of maybe these glasses those glasses are nice i'll get rid of these ones too we'll keep up with this one yeah, yeah, yeah let's do these ones and then destroy this one now we opened up two slots, we can grab this chest, anything else that's on the way, and then we'll do the trial. Oh, it's a scarf. Embroidered formal uniform. To be honest, I think our getup is so dope, but we'll look at that later. We don't need to change anything. And we can definitely fast travel, because that's going to be very far. Damn, all the way out there. Okay, so maybe... Pretty close to this side of the school. Can I go right at the exit? No, I can't. Oh, but I can go right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yo, Smithy, welcome to the stream. What's up? Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the stream. Make sure you like the video. It's time to fly. It's time to fly. Paralyzed, you like the coat, right? Look at this. Reactive camos? Hogwarts Legacy can get it right, but, uh... Cod can't, huh? I hate to see it. hate to see it. It was your birthday yesterday? Happy birthday! For anyone that's watching the stream, and listening, and has fingers, please, can we wish Smithy a very happy birthday, please? You have entered an area that allows flight. Press L1 and then circle to equip the broom on your wheel. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's so dope. Any effects on the broom? Guys, you know Quidditch is coming in an update this summer, right? Like, it... It's the perfect setup. And then they're gonna drop a DLC with more to the story. I think they're doing this right, man. This marketing is gonna be just so smart. Just so smart. And just know, by the way, Smith, uh, Smithy, for the people that do watch this on the rewind and can't type, just know that they're in their homes or at their offices or listening with their headphones and wishing you a happy birthday. Oh man, this is awesome. This is awesome. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Yay. You talking to me? Where's a from Sigmund Fudge himself? <sighs> what? Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. 
Okay, you can relax. I wasn't showing off. I was having some fun. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough What's of with this. your fucking attitude only right now? one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin you need to versus settle down. Ravenclaw. You need to settle down. You really Actually, need to settle why down. Not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I can't wait to see you cry. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm not going to get it on the first try. I don't remember how to do this. Best time was 2.20. Success. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going so fast. Oh, my God. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. Okay, those are boosts. Is the one in front of me the... Oh my god, I'm going so fucking fast, dude! I can't control this! Oh, this is gonna take some time to learn. This is rather fun. Rather fun? Are you kidding me? This is fucking exhilarating! Ah! And the music... They just... they just understand. How to score certain scenes that just feel so magical and fantastical. Oh, damn, dude, I need some. I need some stability on this shit. I'm gonna crush her time, right? I hope so. Oh, I missed all those. Fuck. Oh, crushed her time. Oh my god, she's gonna be so pissed. Oh, I can't wait to rub it in her face. What you got to say now? Huh? Yo, that guy just subscribed to the channel. Welcome to the Pioneers, baby! Uh, Make sure not, to like the video. You must have cheated, you- oh, Fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Prove myself? You know what? Maybe you'd be better off dead. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps Why don't I just you have use... what it takes after all. What are my spells? We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. You're we'll so see next salty. Time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albi Weeks. Thank God we're not a part of Slytherin. Bro. Where are you? This chick is on an ego trip right now. Slytherin's man. Oh, race leaderboard. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Room racing event Quidditch. Oh, wait. 132? Damn. We might have to run it back then. We don't have to run it back now, though. Okay, let's go look at our shit. Yo, I already did before I subbed that guy. Thank you very much. I appreciate the love. And thank you for chatting. It means a lot. Okay, let's look at our quests. Complete the first Keeper Trial. We did that. Um, return to Albi Weeks is under this flight test here. And I think he'll give us the stuff for the broom. So we should go back to him. And then we have to meet Professor Weasley and learn a curse with Sebastian. Okay, so let's go back to Hogsmeade. Should have a fast travel right next to it. Thank you. Beautiful. 
Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? No, it does not. Oh, you're I'm back. back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Meeks, weeks I was able to set a record on my broom by. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. It absolutely did. I like swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. You guys know what I just realized? We just fast traveled over here. We have a broom now. We don't need to be doing fast traveling. Fuck. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Gorgeous. How Absolutely the brilliant. Issue of altitude as it relates you to know what? Speed. Honestly, what Albie, it's today? not... Just taking a look, mate. Nothing serious. All right. Thanks for I'm stopping out of here. by. Hope to see you again. Hope to see you again too. Make sure you buy a better broom so I can get a better upgrade. All right. Let's look at our quests. Okay, so we can meet Professor Weasley. We have a few side missions that we can do, but they're mostly cosmetics. I think there is one right here with Professor Sharp where we can learn a new spell. And then we can learn a curse with Sebastian. Ooh, this is tough. Oh, but there's the Room of Requirement. And I actually just picked up a piece of inventory. I think it was um, a cape? Or was it uh, maybe gloves that it said that I couldn't see what the actual item is until I go to the Room of Requirement. Okay, so let's meet with Professor Weasley then. Right? What's in the Shadow of Undercroft? Meet Sebastian. That's where I get Confringo. Okay. Yeah, let's do Room of Requirement. Beautiful. Okay. And, guess what? <laughs> Wait, no. How do I do it? I can't fly here? What? I have to be outside the premises? Let me see. Sometimes it seems all roads lead. What? Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Let's go! Let's go! Oh, this is awesome. Now I feel like we're finally playing Hogwarts Legacy. How high can I go? Wow, I could probably spend hours flying around on this broom. Okay, for the sake of the thumbnail, what do, th what do we think, guys? What's what's the scenery? We need to do our thumbnail right now. Let's pick something nice. I was binging your Last of Us videos before I watched your live? Hey, That means a lot. I'm glad that you're enjoying the content. Hope you keep tuning in. Back up just a little bit, get a nice perspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The only thing is we're gonna have to uncheck our quest so that we can Oh, actually, there's two things we could do real quickly, if you guys don't mind, that I think are going to be worth it. So if you're just patient with me for two seconds before we go meet with Miss Weasley. 
Okay, how do I untrack? Thank you very much. Should that be out of the way? Beautiful. Now, Mo rated a other content creator from our community told us in the Discord yesterday that there is a graphic setting that is very important and that actually made a huge difference for them. So I'm going to pull it up real quick. Yo, Frez, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Pioneers. Make sure you like the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you continue to enjoy more content. It's a pleasure having you. All right, Mo, put HDR white point 849. Okay, so that's only one difference. How do I go by increments of one? I can't. I'll just do it at 850. HDR black point zero. HDR brightness nine. User interface brightness one. Okay, let me let me do my own little investigation here. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Honestly, I'm not seeing a massive... Is it previewing it for me right now? Yeah, okay, now... Now the sun is super overexposed. Okay, so let's bring that way down. Yeah, that does not need to be high. I do think our black point needs to be a little further up. There's a little more definition in things. I think our brightness is fine. That looks much better. Bring this up now. Let's bring this up a little bit. User interface brightness. Not sure what that is. Okay, that looks a little bit better to me now. Oh, I could change the pitch of my voice? Can I test it? Ah, oh, because his voice right now sounds horrible. I pitched it so far down that it just sounds... Whatever plugin they use for the auto-tune sounds like shit. Ledge! Gotta get back to it. I'll see you later. Enjoy the gameplay. Ledge, thank you, brother. Have a wonderful rest of your day at work. I'll be seeing you later, actually. Okay. I think that's good, right? Alright, let's see if it's too dark. It is too dark. But this is technically nighttime. Or it's about to be nighttime. Hmm. I'd like to see what it looks like in the day, but I don't want to sit here for three hours. Damn. How can I change it to daytime? Can I sleep? Can I do something in the menu? That actually we haven't discovered at all. There should be a make it day option. Hmm, colorblind mode? No, of course not. Okay. Since it is just a little bit dark, I'm going to bring up brightness just a little bit. Can I use my Rebellion. wand up here? No, I can't. Alright, we're gonna have to save the thumbnail for another time, unfortunately. We're gonna have to wait till the morning. Okay. We'll come back out during the daytime. I didn't even notice the cooldown of our boost in the bottom right corner. Okay, so we're probably going to be able to find potions that allow for the cooldown to be not as bad. Let's see how the lighting looks inside. Hmm. Might be too dark. Lumos. Is it just because it's nighttime? It might be. Let's not make a decision until uh, 
Ach hier, komm her. Alright, let's do our quest. Yeah, we're gonna wait till the daytime to go back out. Okay, so in the shadow of Undercroft, that's Sebastian, Room of Requirement, track quest. Let's do that. It definitely feels way too dark. I think the blacks are too intense. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. It looks horrible. Let me make an adjustment here. Let's bring down this black point significantly. All right, there we go. A little bit better. It still feels dark, no? Let's try it one more time. Yo, Dazric913, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. So much love today, man. Thank you guys. It means a lot. It always has, it always will. right there Is that enough not bad not bad oh I didn't mean to throw that sorry students you're gonna be getting attacked okay we went the wrong way boom is the sun coming out Who's shouting? Nothing beats a legend. You Whoa. can't imagine how the werewolves join the goblins in the upper. Whoa, too so many people talking. Settle down. We have not been to this part of the castle at all. The this is the first time. Was Albert Boot. Hello, kitty. Interesting that they give you like a little, it was Albert Boot. little, no, it wasn't. Cuss, it was little cutscene just to pet the cat. Right. It's a bold attack. Uh, am I in the right place? Stairs. Begin the quest. Yo, uh, Atlas1129. Professor nice name. Weasley. Nice name. Nice name. Welcome to the stream. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. It's behind the painting. Just kidding. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Wow. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've mm. managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. 
Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering All over I can think of is uh, in the movies when Ron, Hermione, Harry... This presents the perfect opportunity... A few others are flying out of this room when it's on fire. The vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. Oh. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, let's learn it. Evanesco. Another spell on the books. Splendid. Evanesco. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Where is Evanesco? Bang. Evanesco. Excellent work. Whoa, why do you say it? that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move hmm. on. When I have, when I use Evanesco and I make things disappear, I collect Where Moonstone. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Interesting. Let's see a floating candle. Is that goodness? My what? old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Awesome. Dear, yes. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. I'm sorry, but it's fucking dark in here. Just keep collecting moonstone. This is amazing, guys. This is just... This is awesome. I can't stop saying it. Uh, what? You can't open it? What is your purpose? I have some tea. <laughs> Karma. Welcome. Thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the Pioneers. Clever name. Okay, how do I get up there? Can I fly in here? I wish. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! What are you gonna do about it, mate? No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless oh. pilot. <laughs> Good try. Ooh. Loot. A toilet. A bit offended, the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> That's hilarious. You walk in here and it freaking shows you a shower. Damn. Roasted your ass. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I dare you to try by talking in a British accent for 10 minutes. Well, we have been for lots of the time during the gameplay. But sure, no problem. It's 12.29, I will go to 12.39. What was that? I don't know. Was that what a is that? Stitch? What, where? Oh my god. Here, summon your wits and find out. <laughs> oh fuck, mate. It's in the way. No, stop crouching. Oh no, this one. Thank you. Move. Hold on, now we're here. Listen, I'm not an expert. I will try my best, alright? I'm sorry if I'm mixing Irish, Aussie, all the mix. It's not, you know. It's just for fun. Um What am I doing here again? What's my goal? I hear it. I'm stuck. Am I not supposed to be over here? I'm not. Wait, no. There's boxes. Oh, wait, what? No, no, they're hidden. Lumos. 
I hope that house elf can find us in here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't the uh, golden snitch only belong to Gryffindor? Something like that. Am I confused? Probably confused. Dobby, it's your brother! Guys, careful! Huh? Oh, there you are! Wait right there, Deed will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains mm. it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's mm. time to focus on what you need. Just a uh, million eyes. dollars. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. One million gritties. The room will do the rest. What's about to happen? Tidied it up a bit. Now it's clean. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Wow. It's our own private room. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, <gasps> and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. <gasps> I think this is where we're able to customize. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think this is where we can put this shit on the wall. Furniture. Oh, tamed cloak. I'll catch you later next stream. That guy, since you're leaving now, I don't have to do the accident You'll anymore because you were the one that requested it. Clothing, Appreciate the love. Identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. This is awesome. Lumos. It was a pleasure having you, that guy. Thank you very much for spending time in the chat and hanging out with the community. Hope we'll see you again very, 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 very soon. Okay, cool. I want to see the new cape we got. I always go to this screen, but I know the other one's faster. Silly me. Um, outfit. How do I... I'm confused. I'm confused. How do I unlock it? I revealed it, but I... I'm a little confused. Why is it locked? Okay, sure. 
Oh, this is what we got, though. Clean. Clean. Actually, let me go here real quick again. Okay, yeah, we definitely went up. So now I can change appearance. Go back to this. But use the advantages of the other one. Gorgeous. Brilliant. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Conjuring spell. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should no find way. both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and So now I have plots. one place to do everything. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Okay. Um Items used to brew potions, herbology, utility, enchanted items to be used in the room of requirement, wall hangings, art, artwork, decorations, furniture, rugs, seating, tables, statues, and seasonal decorations. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh, that's kind of, that's a lot of moonstone. A small scientific, a small botanical, a small electric potion station, one of the burner for brewing potions. Small gothic potion station with one burner for brewing potions. Are they all the same? Small scientific, small botanical, small electic, and small gothic. Are these just cosmetic? I assume so. If that's the case, let's go with gold. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's happening. Change color? Stop it! Stop! This is everything I hoped it would be. Oh my god. Okay, but where's... You tell me that that was yellow? Oh, but the red is nice too and it fits. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can still preview the other ones. Okay, so which one looks the coolest? We got this one. Got that one. This one. Oh, this one by far. By far. Can I rotate them? <sighs> this is a great day. Oh, it's dual-sided? Or is that the back of it? No, that's the back of it. Okay, so let's put this baby right here. But I think I want to look through the colors just one more time. The black is clean. Ooh, the teal is nice. Black is a little classy. I'm going to keep it black for now. 
Complete more quests to increase the conjuring conjuration budget and the room requirement. Okay. All right. What else can I make? Uh, how do I do this? Go back. Now we have a potion station. Now we need herbology. Why aren't these unlocked? Purchase from tomes and scrolls. Potting table budget. So I have to go buy it because I already used one. No, right here. Small potting table. Okay. And then same color options. Now I might go with the yellow. That looks kind of nice. Use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Utility. A desk of description. A desk which can be used to identify unknown pieces of gear and their properties. Don't I already have one? I already have one. Wall hangings. Found in chests scattered throughout the world. Love it. I fucking love it. I fuck. I'm in love right now. I'm literally in love with this game. I am in love. I'm playing this game until I die. I'm playing this game for the rest of my life. A million hours minimum every day. Oh my god. This is awesome. Be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Got it. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Whoa, 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 why are there checks on all this? Oh, I just got stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got stuff. Okay, 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 okay. Nobody panic. Stop panicking. Chat, chill the fuck out, okay? Relax. Everything's gonna be okay. Just so excited. Alright, let's start with uh, some artwork. We definitely need some artwork in this bitch. Oh, I can change size. Oh, I love large picture frames, actually. I'm gonna put it on the... Mm, I see, I see. Okay, well, hold on. Before I commit to that, I need to know what I have. Okay, we got a rug. Rugs I can put down now if I wanted to. Yeah, okay, so let's take this golden rug and put it under this. Oh my god, I can change the direction. <sighs> I need to call Bella and tell her this is the greatest day of my life. This is amazing. I'm just... I'm at a loss. But would the square carpet have looked better though? I think I'm gonna make this like a gold, like a yellow themed room. Oh, I didn't mean to put that there. Undo. Thank you. Hmm. I'm not sure about the color. 
No, no, no. We're going to have color-coded sections. That's what we're going to do. That's beautiful right there. Absolutely gorge. And then this one can be red. But I want a different rug style. I want... I want this one. Bingo! Okay, now... Oh my god, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I need furniture. I've more to teach you about transfiguration. I understand, Miss Weasley, but right now I'm quite a bit busy. You could just settle down. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm a lamp kind of person, to be honest. Can it be... No, it has to be boom. And then... Oh my god, it's spectacular! Um, uh, back. And then on this one... We put this shit right there. Bang. But a different color. We go black. To fit with the theme. Or white to make it pop a little bit. That's white? Excuse me? Thank God we spend time getting Moonstone. I understand, Miss Weasley. Right now, I'm quite a bit occupied. I think this one only needs one. It's a nice little lamp right there in the corner. You know, we really should have saved this part for like its own video, but um, I'm sucked in. Just wait, this gets 20 times better than what you think. No way. I would continue the room of requirement quest. You're going to want to rede redecorate after you finish them anyways. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blunt Poppy Supreme, sir. I'm going to go to chat. Do I really need a chat, though? Like, what's really the point of a chat? Let's not go too crazy. I just want, you know, I just want some basic details. Let's get a massive table. Is it really that tall? Oh my god, absolutely unnecessary. Unless I put something on top of it. No. Huh. Okay, yeah, so we would put a big table in the middle and then a dope, massive statue. Cool, cool, cool. And then seasonal decorations, so they'll start dropping that in DLCs and updates and shit like that. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I'm ready for the we next We should have saved this for its own video. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Tear decorating. Return to Professor Weasley. I have the moonstone you requested, have Professor. Plenty. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? You're a little bit behind, miss. I've already done all that. Conjure wall decorations. Zero out of five. All right. Boom. Um, wall decorations. Let's put a massive mirror, yeah? change no I can't gotta be right in the right in the middle okay 
Then we need paintings. Yo, you're in school right now? It's Pill. Welcome to the stream. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Keep doing what you're doing. Just don't get caught. I need to do five, so can we just do like some small ones? Oh, if they're bigger in size, they count as multiple? Let's put a beautiful lady in here. Good work. Shall Thank we you. Move on? Absolutely. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Another one. Go. Altering. Just aim oh. your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Oh my god. Okay, here's what we need to do. Before we go any further, actually, we need to do this. This is very important, actually. This is crucial right now. What we need to do is we need to go to talents. We need to go to... We need to go to core. And we need another inventory spot. And then we're going to create our third preset. For the room of requirement. Right? That's going to make a lot of sense. So here we'll have our... Our transfiguration. We'll have... Yeah, so conjuring. Altering. And then... Uh... Vanesco. That makes a lot more sense. So that now... This one can stay with this. And... Let's just say that. So now we have three presets. This one, our main one, is for attacking. This one is for, like, looting and stealth and just walking around. And then this one is for the room of requirement. I love it! Okay, what am I doing again? Using my spell, right? Huh? What the fuck just happened? Stop it! Stop! I can change the color of the walls. Oh my god. We should have saved this for another episode. This is amazing. We're going to have to put uh, learning how to fly and room of requirement in our title so people know that this happened in this episode. Because this is fucking amazing. It's got to be red. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, no, 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 no. I have... I have wall colors for each section. So this is my yellow wall. And then this is my red wall. And then this is my black wall. But I feel like I'll change that because now black's going to be kind of lame. No, but it's clean. Can I go higher up? I can! Oh my god, I can do the whole fucking room. Alright guys, I'm gonna be here for about three hours. I'll see you in another video. Change color. This is- this is just so fucking amazing. This is everything I've dreamed of. This is- this is everything we've dreamt of. Yo, Simon, thank you very much. For subscribing to the channel, I hope you're watching the stream right now so you can stop in and say hello to all the pioneers. It's the greatest day of my life. It's sort of the greatest day of my life. Change color. What should the, the top should be like? Yeah, that teal, that green is nice. Let's do the green. 
This is gonna this is gonna change a lot, but I'm just Things can be changed, man. Can these pillars change color? Okay, they stay white. This is so magical. I'm in love. I'm in love. I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is the experience that I'm having right now. Oh my god, I can change the carpet. Oh my god. This is, this is too much for me right now. This is too much joy. I'm overwhelmed with the joy that I'm having in my soul right now. I just, I can't even... I wish, I wish we saved this for a separate video, because I hope that people find this at the end of the flying broom video, but... Oh my god. Oh my god, what's up, Deke? Deke, right? I can't even think straight, this is just too much for me. Too much. I'm overwhelmed. There's so much joy. I don't like this ball at all. Okay, what else can I change? Oh. Can't even think straight, I'm just too excited. Um, no, I'm sorry, I don't want to do that to you. I think I'm done. I have some questions about alteration, Professor. Yes? Thank you, Professor. I have no more questions. <laughs> I have none. I'll be here if you need anything else. That's Derek in game. Yo, tell Derek I said hello next time you talk to him. Okay. Um, have I done everything that you want from me? I have some questions. Okay, so you're just going to stay here. Cool. Yes. You're just going to watch me in my private room. Thank you, Professor. Very I interesting. No questions. Really I'll don't be here need to if be you need anything else. I don't need to be watched. But I appreciate it. Okay. Quests. What do we need to do, man? Learn a curse with Sebastian. Sebastian. Interior de decorating. Professor Weezy wants you to alter his spell to change the size, color, and identity. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't complete this. I know it said it on the left. I thought it, I thought I already did it, though. Maybe I did it too early. Alter the style of an item. Okay. And adjust the size. So let's... Apply hold. Apply to all walls and bookshelves. Oh, whoa. Change colors. Are you... That didn't do much for me. Okay, I did that. Can I change the color of this? How oh, about I can change the size? And now change the color. But I already did that. Oh, let me change the color of that chair. I don't like that chair. Nice 
nicely done. Now Thank you very much. something a little more advanced. Talk to you me, talk to me, talk to me. Spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these Already new designs that. on the floor or balcony. Oh. I did everything too fast. She's not caught up. She thinks I'm like behind. Yo, Gira Grenewald. Grenewald. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the Pioneer. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you very much for stopping by. Welcome. All to the balcony or the floor of the room. Well, I just did the balcony, so I don't know what you're confused about. Okay, okay. It wants me to alter, not change the color. Alter the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh! Oh! Fire! Okay, let's make sure we have the right color now. Your Boom. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course! Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? A cool moonlit ambiance sounds perfect. I like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. I don't know. There's a lot of options. Can I try the other ones later? Or am I set in stone on what I'm choosing? You can try all, thank God. All right, so let's just start, like start with the first one. Feel as if it's been lit by the moon. Hmm, sounds perfect. Oh! No way. No way. No way. Hmm. Quite a difference. No. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now no. you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I can spend you stop here, talking so I can try the other fucking room colors? Me. Oh my god. No, no, stop, stop. I don't want to progress. Stop, don't kick me out, please. What's going on? Why am I watching a book fly? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I can change the architecture? How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Game of the year. Do you hear me? Game of the year. End of conversation. End of conversation. I'm, I'm overwhelmed with the feeling that I have in my body right now. This is too much. This is too much joy. I don't know what to do. I think we should end the video here. And we'll start the next stream with room of requirement and whatever else we have to do, I guess. Because I'm just, I'm blah, 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 blah. I don't know what to do. I'm just overwhelmed with joy. Okay. World map. Can we take this fucking thing off, please? Thank you. Quests. 
Learn a curse. With Sebastian. Okay, so I actually I could still do that actually. Let's do that. Um how do I change the ambiance? Where do I go to do that? Do I look up at the sky or something? That's crazy. That's crazy. I need to figure out how to change the ambiance though. Right now, I'm just changing the ceiling. How do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do that? Do I... I should get some potions going. Do I talk to you? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's Let's ambience. Let's go. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Okay. So regular. But nice. Does feel, you know, vibrant. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? And then the last one left. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Ooh. Vibe. We'll fill it up with a lot of lamps then. I probably prefer this one. If we put more lamps. And candles and stuff like that. That'll look beautiful. Okay. There is a lot of customization we can do in here. I think astronomy tower. Excuse me? Oh, okay. Okay, so now I know where the room of requirement is. Why is the music so good? What the hell? There's fucking galaxies in the sky? The developers of this game, I hope they feel proud of themselves. I hope that they feel like they've done something special because I think they have. And they deserve a lot of awards coming their way this year. I want to get outside. I need to get on my broom. Off on another adventure, are we? Always. How do I go outside? I'm trapped. Going in circles. Oh, down, down, down. Oh, Sebastian. I mean, I could just fast travel outside of the school. Could do that. Always. <laughs> If only a new student. I thought I killed you in the last freaking episode.
How does that look, guys, for the thummy? You can't enter while mounted. Okay, so I've, I've reached my limit here. Oh, I see. I see the limit on the wall. Okay. Got it. Let's go over here so we can get the Quidditch area in it more. I really think that the best thing that they could do with this game, as far as future goes, is just update it. And increase the increase the map size and do all that. Like you don't need to release a new game. Okay. Look at me, mate. Um, how am I gonna get this? Boom. Boom. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, what do we need to do now? Oh, I'm just filled with so much joy. Okay, I think that we should go talk to Sebastian. And then we will end the stream. And load up again in about a half an hour. It'll be our third stream of the day, folks. What's up, Podu? Welcome to the stream, baby! Welcome! Hope you have fun! It's amazing. It's the best day of my life. What's that, Mel? Never had a better day in my life than this fucking spring. <sighs> what are you up to now? I say it all the time, but the things that a good game does to you and makes you feel a good game. Uh, listen. I killed you once! Oh! You're the bitch on the broom! I already beat your record. Ho. Hello, Sebastian. Over here! Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This okay. way. In the shadows of the Undercroft. Enter the secret room. Um, well, I don't want to do anything secret until I start another stream. So let me just quadruple check. Okay, so I have to go into the secret room, learn, learn the new spell. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Wow, we have a lot of, we've covered a lot of ground today, guys. I am, I'm just, I have so much joy. Thank you guys for tuning into the stream today. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if not. This is the second stream of the day. Hope you've enjoyed part five, I think we're on. Part six in about 45 minutes. I'll see you guys soon. Make sure you like the video. Appreciate you. See you in a bit.